Does Gran Turismo have a Forza camera setting? Well, this is what people are saying. I'm going to find out. This is the default Gran Turismo camera setting, and you can see... Well, a lot of people say it looks like the world is moving around the car rather than the car sort of moving in the world. Can you see that as I go left to right? The car is quite planted, it seems, from the camera angle. And this is very different to Forza, where the car will move around and do so all sorts of unrealistic things. But this apparently is a secret source, and we're going to find out today. Definitively test it. And by the way, this video is sponsored by GT Omega. Thank you so much, GT Omega. For sponsoring this video they make incredible sim racing rigs i use it on my gran turismo rig i use it on my forza rig so thank you so much to gt mega for sponsoring this video use the code kirith5 at checkout if you want to get five percent off one of these amazing sim rigs go check them out but what we're going to do here is i'm going to go to display settings and there is a thing here called adjust chase view so very hidden down in the settings and we have some stuff like this. So camera sensitivity. I'm going to go to max. I've got a near and far. Chase, you're actually going to go to near. And I'm going to do the offset at three. I don't know what that does, but is this going to falsify it? Let's see. Well, I mean, that's made... I say that's even worse. There's very little movement in the car. Yes, it's a GT3 car, but... So, you know, decent amount of downforce. But you can see here, for a rear-wheel drive car, that back end not coming around at all. So let's go back into the settings. I've been assured that you can falsify it. So I'm going to go here. Rotation center offset zero. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go to one now. Let's have a look now. Well, okay, that's better. Now it feels like the car is... Hang on a second. There is a Forza setting in Gran Turismo. Nice. Have a look here as we go in. You can definitely... Oh my goodness me, I've almost taken out Mr. Harvey there. You can definitely see a lot more of what appears to be pitch and body roll. This would be more accentuated driving a road car. As we navigate all of this uh, Group 4 traffic, it's the weirdest multi-class race in history. Get out of our way here. Okay, and now let's put it back and just compare. So which of those settings is it? So this might be something that I have to rec uh, recommend you do. So I'm going to do the offset. I don't know what the offset really means. But suddenly I feel like the car is actually moving in the world rather than the other way around. Can you see? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it back to 10. So this is where it was really bad. This is where it was really kind of not moving. Oh, yes, look at that difference. Now the world is moving. Okay, I've come back into a, into a road car here. This is actually my car in real life. So very planted, obviously. Connoisseur's choice. But we're going to do the camera setting here where you'd expect to see a lot more roll in the body. So this is the um, bad setting. This is the Gran Turismo very stiff setting. And then weirdly, when you lower the sensitivity, this should now be a game changer. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, now you can see the car actually moves around in the world. And I wonder what that offset thing does. Let's see here as we go around the corner. If I do the offset, well, it doesn't change anything there, weirdly. So I'm still not that clued up on what the offset does, but this actually feels like I'm driving left to right and the world is moving less. Now, is this going to be faster or slower? Get out of our way. Is it going to be faster or slower? Hmm. It definitely feels like you can uh, see what the car is doing a little bit better. Which might, you know... Oh, you can see here, I, I can appreciate when it's loaded and actually looks like the suspension is doing its work. Obviously, this is the RCZ GT Line Edition, as you can see. So it has uprated suspension. Um, but this is just a lot better. I can't believe this isn't default. I don't know why these aren't the default settings. So we have actually... Thank you so much, everyone who's commented on my videos for about three months now, non-stop, just shouting at me. But there we go. Well, I've done it. So let me know in the comments. Do you think definitively these Forza camera settings 
are better than the default settings in Gran Turismo. Let me know. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see me, uh, you know, demystify more things. And I'll catch you in the next video.